fans that got in. Well, certainly Jimmy Malo, as we see here with Mary Jo Sanders, very happy with what he saw in that round. But I don't know that she won it. Let's go, Coach. All right. Second time. Let's work. Well, as we mentioned between rounds, Jimmy Malo very happy with what he saw that round. I still thought it was a very close round. It but was. Whether she took the end of it, who knows? You know, these women are uh, Mary Jo Sanders 5-0 in world title fights, Holly Holm 10-0. Someone's streak will probably come to an end. They've had some common opponents in two of the three. Shadina uh, Pennybaker and Trisha Turton picked Mary Jo Sanders to win this fight, while Chevelle Hallback was kind of non-committal. Watch your heads, ladies. Watch the heads. Kenny Bell is already worried about the heads coming together. He had issues out, with that out, earlier out, in the out. evening in another fight. Stop! And that's Holly. something you don't see a lot of right now, a clinch in the middle of the ring in a Holly Holm fight. And Mary Jo Sanders, again, as you pointed out Earl, last round, out, not able to take advantage of when she finally gets her inside. Holly Holm doing a lot of holding in there. There's right? body work by Holm. She, she got hit with a good right hand, though, did Holly out. Holm. And there's a little mouse underneath the left eye of Holly. Good uppercut on the inside. Now learning how to fight on the inside of Sanders, letting her hands go. Home continues to be on that bicycle, lateral motion, moving, not sticking the jab out as much as no. she was earlier and in the I, fight. And there's a subtle stop, change. Stop, Holly stop, Holm is allowing herself to be kind of cornered a little more near those ropes. Just a smidge less movement from her. Sanders not throwing anything here at the end of the round. And nice, just like saying that beautiful right hand lead by Sanders. Perhaps her best punch of the fight. She's had her moments in this round. Is it enough for Mary Jo to win it? Tough rounds to score. Yeah, very good. Fight. Can you imagine studying abroad? Really putting yourself out there and trying something new? This semester, I'm studying art history in Rome. Can you imagine exploring the world? Immersing yourself into a foreign country and learning about other cultures? I'm studying economics in London. Can you imagine being pushed further than ever before? Challenging yourself so you can make a difference and get the most out of college? I'm studying Spanish this semester in Madrid. And surround yourself with new cultures, inspiration and experiences that will move you towards a great future. Think about the possibilities. Explore the world. Discover your potential. It all starts here. St. Mary's College of California. Give some water, Pop. Mary Jo Sanders has landed some good right hands. That was her best of the fight. And more importantly, she worked on the inside when home got inside after that. Look good now. That was a good round. You're on. You got to keep this pace up, Joe. I'm telling you, you're in her home. All right. So what are you doing? You bounce. Hey, it's Dave. It's Dave. Yeah. She's gonna throw it in the air. I got you. This is the first. Very good job. 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 Good Second half of a scheduled 10 rounder, the IFBA junior middleweight title at stake. Mary Jo Sanders, she's in the striped shorts. Green and white, that would be Holly Holm. Nobody's been on the floor, and a very tough fight to score, Al. Yes, it is. Good straight left hand by Holm. You mentioned that Holm's jab has not been as active in this match as we would expect. She's come out very aggressively here. I have it a very close fight. You could go either way with this. these rounds. They're very, very difficult. I have home up 48-47 at the end of five, but 
very narrow margin. That's the way I have it as well. But I got to tell you, we, we need to talk about that right hand workout, lead because that Mary workout, Jo workout, Sanders workout. threw near the end of the fifth round. I really believe that's the ticket and that she shouldn't be throwing the jab. But the right hand lead was just beautiful and really stopped Holly dead in her track. Well, she got it in, but the problem is she's got to put herself in a position to throw these punches. She has to move to her left, cut Holly Holm off, and then be in a position to throw it, whether it's the lead or the left hook to the body that will stop her from moving. It's another thing. Mary Jo Sanders hasn't thrown that left hook downstairs that stops the movement of the left-hander. With all that, she may well have won the last two rounds, and she's certainly becoming a, a better aggressor in this match. Work, work out. However, inside right there, Holly out punching her four to one when they got inside. And Holly Holm lands a lot of body punches when she gets inside. Stop, stop. Holly Holm has one of the most unorthodox styles I have ever seen in boxing. And it, that's what makes her such a difficult fighter to fight. You know who she reminds me of, and no pun intended on the name. Remember Keith Holmes, middleweight. Absolutely. Used to bounce like that. Big tall left hander. I had Paul Vaden fighting him one night. It was like fighting a kangaroo. Yeah, very easy That's all over you. This is a tough round here. It's uh, not a lot of activity. A lot, a lot of punches landed by the woman. Holly may be just a little busier. Yeah. Time! At the end of the round, Action on the inside. Mary Jo Sanders trying to land and then and landing a right hand as Holly Holm kind of lunged in at her as she is wont to do. Nice little wealth under the left eye of, of Mary Jo Sanders too. So they're a little even on that count. I know when I saw her, she was home, so it's okay. All right, let's give her a jab. 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 And I got to say this, as we start round number seven, Holly bouncing just as much as she was bouncing in the ring walk. Perpetual motion. You know, they felt that uh, Mary Jo Sanders, that they could work uh, off the weak jab of Holly Holm. And Holly jo Holm's jab hasn't been great. Oh, good left hand after Sanders landed a good right hand. So both fighters trading right now. Holly gets back on her bicycle, though. Mary Jo has her in good position right now. Kenny Bayless letting him fight out of it, too, and Sanders getting the better of that exchange. Good right hand by Mary Jo Sanders, her second best punch, best punch in the fight, and she landed a combination. That's a hole. Kenny Bayless not letting him fight on the inside, though, Al. This is a seminal moment in this fight. Mary Jo Sanders has unloaded some power shots. She can't afford not to pick up the pace here and keep the pressure on Holly Holm. Landed a right-hand lead just before you started your comment, too. Holly Holm, while she's dancing right now, not throwing a lot of leather. Mary Jo Sanders wanted to land the uppercut on the inside. She's not throwing that punch as much as she would like. And How right, do you feel, though, about Bayless breaking them up well, I think even Kenny, when they're not in a clinch? Yeah, I think Kenny might let them fight a little bit more on the inside. It was certainly, Mary Jo Sanders certainly wants that. Another good right hand by Sanders, partially blocked by Holly Holm. Now the bigger punches landed by Sanders in this round. Maybe more of them by Holly Holm, it's hard to tell. Under 20 seconds to go here in the seventh. Holm lunging in. Less movement from Holm. No jab, nobody can spell jab this round. Good finish for Sanders. It got rough in there. Mary Jo Sanders really made Holly Holmes feel her punches in that last round. And right at the end of the round, they wailed away and Kenny Bayless got in between them. But it was a, a round in which this young lady landed some power punches. Keep rounds, everything all right? 
Well, you take a look there. Charlie seems a little concerned. Well, you know, it, as we pointed out, he a, he's always nervous during fights, and this is a very close fight right now, one that, uh, you know, could tilt either way. Okay. Yeah, hey, if you don't dominate these next three hours, I'm telling you. Give me a bucket. If you don't dominate these next three hours, it's going to be hard. All right, coach. Okay. okay. Hands up. Let's go. You got to win these next three hours. All right, we're starting the eighth round. Again, this is scheduled for 10. And when it comes to 10-round fights, Holly Holm has been the 10-round distance 10 times as opposed to Mary Jo Sanders six times. And oddly enough, as much as she's eight years younger, her pro career started a year earlier, back in 2002, January of 2002. You know, Jimmy, and I have this as a very close fight with Holm maybe one point up. Jimmy Mahlo, you know, saying to Mary Jo that she has to really sweep these rounds. I don't know if that's the case. You know, we have to, we mentioned again.